so much harder. So I recommend always doing a side hustle on the side of your day-to-day -day job, on the side of your corporate job as an extra source of income, not putting your eggs in all in one basket. Good morning. Today is a first day in a, my three day stretch. And since the last time I talked to y'all for a day of my life at work, something has changed drastically in a matter of a couple weeks and that is the coronavirus and if you don't know I am a ER registered nurse therefore lots of the frontline people taking care and seeing and treating these people are in the ER like myself so Lots of things have changed in how we go about our day in the ER due to this pandemic. I say pandemic because it originally started in China. Thousands and thousands of cases with a high mortality rate eventually came to the U.S. The U.S. is now number one with cases of this virus, so we just we just had to be number one. We just had to be number one. Wish it was than this, but you know. So it is basically six o'clock in the morning. No way in time for me to go clock in yet, but had to prepare my day because things can kind of change a little bit in how I prepare. One being, I don't wear my work shoes at home. Like I don't even, I won't even get in my car with my work shoes on anymore. I have different shoes that I change into when I get to work. So, yeah. But you'll see after I get off, Kind of how things have changed. Obviously, let me preface this again. I work in a hospital, therefore cannot film in a hospital due to HIPAA and privacy laws. So, um, the biggest thing that's really changed with this virus and this pandemic is one, we screen everybody patient and visitor and employee before they walk into any door in this hospital and that is check the temperature when they as soon as they walk in ask them if they feel sick if they've been out the country been out the state so second is we now have a no visitor policy at the hospital I currently work at I believe other hospitals around the country have done this as well there's a couple exceptions, like if it's a child, obviously they have to have a one parent there. Or I think in a labor and delivery situation, they can have one like spouse there. Or like mentally handicapped, that type of thing. They can have one visitor. But pretty much no visitors. Uh, so yeah. But, I mean, that was pretty much the bulk of the changes. The ER specifically, before you go walk into the ER, we have our designated ER screeners. And if they are any type of risk of being exposed to this coronavirus, they get a mask put on outside and then the nurse out in front of the ER calls the charge nurse and be like, hey, got a possible corona patient. Can we put them in one of our negative pressure rooms and go from there? But this way they're screened outside, not in a group of people, put a mask on outside before they walk into a closed building, possibly exposing everyone else. So, good. Good on for 
my hospital for doing that because I feel like that just makes sense on top of everyone washing their hands, which everyone in the hospital washes their hands. I just need everyone else who is not medical to continue to wash your hands and to please, please stay at home if you are not active, you know, if it's not emergent, please stay at home. If it's not necessary, stay at home. Please. So, that's pretty much the morning I had so far. I'm going to finish listening to this podcast. And then I'm going to change my shoes and go in. And I will update y'all maybe on my lunch break. Probably not. Um, but I will definitely update you after I get off work. entrance where we are walking up. Got my temperature checked at 6.20 in the morning. Didn't realize they were there that early on Saturday, but 98.2, so I'm good. So now I'm just waiting in the break room to clock, be able to clock in and then wait for Huddle to get my assignment. The difference now versus other times is now we have like a designated COVID-19 home. And then we have the yard people, which is the people who are like outside the yard screening people who mask on them, all that. So it's gonna be interesting when I get put today. The last couple of days I've been put on the COVID hall, so it'll be interesting when I get put today. But I'll update y'all either on my lunch break or after work. Probably gonna be after work. <laughs> after seven o'clock and I am in my car shift is over so I have finished one of my many many shifts after this coronavirus COVID-19 stuff has started and basically today I was the COVID nurse for CCU but like basically I was like whoever has like either one of the two COVID room like isolation room like isolation negative pressure rooms there's like supposed to be a designated runner nurse and like resource nurse so I was the designated runner resource nurse for the CCU hallway in the ER room so basically that means I was in addition to that, if that nurse don't need anything, then you float. So, I was floating, did 20 million things for 20 million people, helped with the potential COVID patients, helped with the traumas, sick patients, more sick patients. Some patients are probably sick of them people think I'm gonna shut up now um so yeah I think I think I put 18 in every patient I stuck a line in except for like one patient that got a 20 but like everyone else got an 18 come to ER and you sick you're an 18 so basically our hospital policy says for potential COVIDs gown N95 mask, face shield or eye protection, hair cover, 
shoe cover, and gloves. And I don't know if it can is noticeable, but my face is really red. My nose is really red. My my face is sore from wearing a mask. Pretty much good good chunk of the day. So, but yeah. So I pretty much floated, helped everyone do everything, triage, tasking, that type of thing, moved patients upstairs. So, that's what I did today on the COVID-19 day, probably second week of it, so day 14 of COVID-19 in the ER. And the funny thing is, because of the coronavirus, most of the lesser sick patients that normally come to the ER haven't been coming. Pretty much everyone that comes to the ER is like sick sick. And also, we don't have, we have the, a no visitor policy, and that's kind of deterring more people from coming to the ER. So it's like, until about like 11, 12 o'clock, it's like, almost like, it's not dead because, I, well, basically we got here at 7, there were 5 patients in the department in our 80 plus bed ER. Obviously we left at 7 tonight and there was like probably 30 something patients in the ER, but And a 911 trauma literally came in right shift changes. <laughs> so like, oh, this is night shift. This is, this is. We had a 911 trauma for, for today. Y'all's turn now. Tag you it. <laughs> but, I mean, that's kind of how it is. I mean, because they're going to be taking care of the patients for most of this time anyway. So, like, constantly okay care says they pretty much take over since on their shift. But, anyways. That's it for my shift I'm going to head home and in a post COVID-19 world I will not be wearing my work shoes into the house they are in a bin in my trunk of my car and basically all these clothes are coming off at the door going into the washer and I'm heading straight to the shower so I will talk to y'all maybe when I get home probably have to take showers up. my day, work day in my life, post, well, pre-post coronavirus, so, just finished dinner, after I cleaned myself, decontaminated in the shower, and probably the hottest water and soap imaginable, put my scrubs in the washer, and just wiped down everything. I took the work with me, keys, phone, everything, ate dinner, catching up on the YouTube videos that I missed while being at work, catch up on social media because I don't check my phone when I'm at work, so catching up on that, and going to go to bed, and do it all over again tomorrow for day two.
What is up? Howdy. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Brooke. Look at extra tired. It is another day in quarantine. What day are we even on?